Some, something, some kind of people those people were. Everyone, they took something they gave to a Nabi Mustafa alayhi wa Very nice. But don't think, and I don't want you to think that the Nabi sallallahu is taking this money and he's building the palaces because we know there were no palaces there, huh? What, what, what happened to all that money? It's going, this one comes to the Prophet sallallahu He doesn't tell everybody, Rasulullah, I am in need, take, take. Families were supported. A whole social system was there. But people don't go and tell everybody. They tell the Prophet ﷺ. Why? Because harisun alaykum. Laqad jaakum rasoolun min anfusikum. Azizun alayhi ma'anittum. Harisun alaykum. They know that he's compassionate for of them. He loves them. And he would not indignify them when he gives them. They go to him. Things were happening in Medina. There people don't know. Hatta not only the Prophet ﷺ, way after that, Imam Zain al-Abidin Ali ibn Hussein. Zain al-Abidin, the son of Imam Hussein, the son of Sayyidina Ali al-Fatima, the daughter of Rasulullah ﷺ. The people of Medina, they say, we did not know about the death of Zain al-Abidin until the sadaqah at night in secret stopped coming to us. There was someone at night who would go and put sadaqah in front of the doors of the needy people. They didn't know who he was. He would cover himself. They didn't know. And that was regular. When that stopped and it coincided with the death of Zayn al-Abideen, they realized the one who was given the sadaqah at night was Zayn al-Abideen Ali ibn Hussein. They said we did not know that Zayn al-Abideen Ali ibn Hussein was martyred or killed until the sadaqah at night that used to come to our homes stopped coming. Then we realized the man who was given it, uh, that turns out to be Zayn al-Abidin. مَا عَلِمْنَا بِمَوْتِ زَيْنَ الْعَبِدِينَ إِلَّا بِانْقِطَاعِ صَدَقَةِ السِّرِّ فِي الْلَيْلِ عَنَّا They said, Ahlul Madinah, what's going on? Huh? They were systems, people were giving the Prophet ﷺ. Like, and there are many people who are benefiting. So people are giving. Like, and Umm Sulaim, what does she do? She doesn't have anything. Huh? You know how some people, they don't have anything. I have nothing. She looked, she picked her son, Anas, and she went to the Prophet. She said, Ya Rasulullah, everybody came and at Hafaka, everybody came and gave you something. The best thing they have and the most valuable, and I don't have anything. This is the most valuable thing. I have my son, Anas. Here he is. You take him and let him serve you for whatever you want. Look at this understanding. Ya Rasulullah, uh, my, the people got you the most valuable thing in the dunya, but the most valuable thing for me as a mother is my son, and he is my gift to you. Ya Salam. Anas says, Hadith is Sahih Muslim, this one. He says, Khadam to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I served the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 10 years. Look at that now. The opportunity Allah gave that honor to people. Huh? It's, not, it's meant to be, it's not for anybody. Allah gave the opportunity, the tawfiq for the mother of Anas to give her son in the service of the best of the creation ever. For 10 years, he says. But I want you to see what he said. He says, in 10 years, he never said to me, uff, qat. He never said uff to me in 10 years I served him. Never said uff. And he never said to me, why did you do this and why didn't you do this? That tells you what? This is the akhlaq of Rasulullah. This is the rahmah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that's why in the other narration of Sayyidah Aisha, also for Sahih Muslim, she said he never raised his hand on a woman or on a servant ever. His hand sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was never raised against anyone, a servant or a woman. These are the actions of the rahmah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Mind you, he, she says, Sayyidah Aisha, he never raised his hand on a woman. Just a few years ago, they used to bury the women. He doesn't raise his hand on a woman. Bury the women? They bury them. They, they're, the moment they're born, they dig a grave and they bury them alive. And he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam doesn't, he doesn't even raise their, his hand on them. You see the transition? Actions speak louder than words. 